About a week ago, my friend Harrison and I decided to build a fancy hunting cabin in Minecraft. We also decided to record all of it. And this is part two of the shenanigans that ensued. Hope you enjoy. Harrison, why is there a command block here? Oh, don't hit that! Okay, okay, I won't, but I'm pretty close to that landmark, you know. Like, I'm one away, although I've been one away for like a week now, so it's probably not coming anytime soon. <laughs> Harrison, this is childish! Get out of here! You have a block of wood on your head, too. <laughs> We're trying to start number two, you know episode what? two, and you start it with number two. Oh, that was a terrible dad joke. Delete, delete me from the internet. I'm going, I'm going, <laughs> goodbye. What the hell? <laughs> I hate you so much. I actually despise you right now. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, this is number two, episode two. Last time we built this- <laughs> Shut up! I'm trying to do an introduction, you idiot. This is all getting deleted. Anyways. So last time we built this little, uh, cabin here, not cabin, we're going to build a cabin today. This mm -hmm. is our shed that we built last time. We kind of started fooling around and ended up building a shed instead of a full-size cabin. This time we're going to focus on yep. at least starting the exterior of a full-size cabin in this area. Probably going to have to remove this hill too. Um, so actually maybe we should start with that. Let's clear this whole area and remove the hill. Not with world edit. Last time you did that, you deleted the entirety of the forest. Bad. <laughs> I hate you so much. I hate. <laughs> oh my god. Unban me, please. We only need to move the hill back a little bit. And then we have enough room for the mansion. Harrison, don't blow it up, I swear to god. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should ha have it, like, standing up on. Standing up like this. Like a pat. A pat patio that comes like off like okay. a deck yeah i know what you're talking about when i was um thinking this in my head i originally planned to kind of have one of those big wraparound decks just around at this area here um and then kind of that... blend it into the back of the hill but i really like your uh, hill balcony idea we could always do um we could do two buildings why don't we do like a big mansion here and then have maybe a uh hot tub room or something up here Hot tub or or sauna room or or maybe just like um uh, a smoker a smoker for um fish and stuff. What do you think? You know what? Yeah, I okay. like that. Okay, yeah, let's do that. So, why don't we start with the main mansion first, and then once we've got the footprint down for that and we built it up somewhat, then we can kind oh, of and... figure out where it goes, where the other one goes. So this this is just going to be the wraparound balcony, and then the actual house can go right here. So we'll make its foundations out of cobblestone. And then kind of, yeah. And then maybe just have the balcony taper off over to this end, and have the house continue down here. And then we can cover this up with trapdoors. We can do something like this for the edging, and then we can do oh. um, spruce yes. for the rest of the the roof. Okay. So here's here's the idea. See barrels. They have a little bit of a weird texture. Um, that that would make an interesting floor. If we have. You know what, I think my idea has gone down the drain because you can't place them upside down, but look at this side of the barrel. This side in particular looks a little bit like a, like, like, oh, like a spruce planks, but it's got a little bit of a worn outline to it. I was thinking if we could place that upside down, yeah. it would work as the floor, but unfortunately I don't think you can, so I'm going to scrap that idea, and I think we'll just kind do solid spruce. Kind of a repetitive spruce. floor, don't you think? Opening it up constantly? Yeah. I'm not sure about the holes. Oh, you don't but, think so? You think they should just it should just be solid? Yeah, but this 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 thing's kind of run down. It's a tool shed. Okay. That one doesn't really require much maintenance. Whereas this is more well kept, is what you're saying, right? Yes. Okay. This is where people are sleeping. Oh, you think that? The roof. Well, I was I like, was just that one side. Just this one area. Um, have have it one on this side, but have this side a bit more open. Like have it a bit lopsided. Okay, I think I see where you're going. Now, my original plan was to just slope everything up until we get to the main house, and then have this part of the main house stick up further. 
than like, the rest of the house? Like, just have it completely, complete pyramid? Nah, that, that, that's done too often. Yeah, you're right, actually. It does, it, it's, yeah, okay, well. Like, oh, yeah, a pyramid at the top of a house. Like, yeah, no. Nah. Okay, well. I'm not seeing it. I, I go with your idea. I think it, it has good potential. Um, do you think we should do the entire roof out of dark oak, or do you think we should um, do like we did at the shed and make the inner part spruce? We can always decide till the end, too. Like we, Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, I think the overhang nicely separates the um, balcony from the rest of the house, because you think this part up here, I don't know if I can get up there, would have rooms and stuff in it, and the outer wall would be right here, whereas because under here is open. this, I think, is a great idea. I like that idea, yeah. And we can even uh, push it out one block as well. So just kind of have yes. it there, and yeah. then put a button on the end of it, like that. Yeah, yeah I think that, that looks good. Yeah, I... it tops the house off. I have an idea. Okay, so we, oops. So we just build this down, and then now that it's over here, we cap it. We we cut it off. Yeah. And then we continue the pattern down here. So this is the new edge. Oh, so it's like an a hang, like. Yeah, yeah. It just hangs off? Like... I think yeah. so. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I think that would look pretty cool. And then and then it makes it look a little less uh, symmetrical. Even though the house isn't symmetrical, it'll just add to yeah. that asymmetry a little bit and make it uh, stand out a little more. Yeah, this is a good area for a chimney. Should come out of the side. Um, well, we could, out, we could do two. So we can have one coming out from this end, one chimney, and then have another chimney perhaps coming from here. This could be like a big study slash living room area. I got the measurements wrong a little bit on this side. So these ones, these pillars have only four blocks in between them. Well, these pillars have five, but I don't think I want to change that because I don't want the house to be a big square. So I think we're just going to leave it. So for the walls, I'm going to do the same sort of thing as we did for the shed. So they're going to be upside down stairs that show the cobblestone. And then we'll carve windows out when we're done. Ooh, this is going to be a problem though. Uh, what? Yeah, connecting, well, connecting this stair to uh, here. If I add the walls up to here, it, they're going to connect to the stair like this. But I can mitigate that by putting this there. And then, oh, actually, no, you know what? No, I don't need to put that there. Put one of these there, and then it's okay. I thought for the front, I'd line up the beams, the center beams, with the uh, center beams over here. Just so it, it, when we're looking at it from the very front, we can kind of see how it lines up. And then I thought I'd put beams off to the sides here a little bit, just so this one has an edge one. And then this one will just mirror the other side. And then it looks kind of uh, reinforced and, well, styled, I guess. Harrison, what are you doing? <laughs> we should have, like, a bearskin rug. Like, have that and... Like... Like that? <laughs> Melt near the... Oh, Iron? right, yeah. I was just doing it because uh, snow has layering properties, that's all. What what this will look like. Um, yeah, that's really weird. Let's oh. not do that. <laughs> you can't open it. Oh, that's even worse. It's a turtle bear. Hold on, <laughs> we, need to give it, we need to give it arms. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, oh, it needs a body. It needs a body. <laughs> Oh no, the arms fell block. off. Oh crap. Um, really? Oh, even better. I have an idea. Okay. End rods. No, no. Gates. Now it's got four legs. Do that again. There, perfect. It looks like a drone, honestly. <laughs> it does. Hold on, hold on. We can make it even better. Oh crap, I broke the shulker box. Uh... You know what? We're getting off track. We need a. You know what? We're getting off track. Nye, 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 nye. Nye, nye, nye. <laughs> hey, you're the one who banned me for no reason, okay? So, be nice. Reason. You didn't donate to Team Tree. Oh! <gasps> what? Yes. Yes, with this. Yes. Yes, with what? The, uh. Um... Yes. Okay, yeah, I was, I was experimenting with it, seeing That's if it would look good. That's what Todd Howard's. Yeah, Todd Howard, yes, yes. Is it a bug, or is it a feature? Yes. It's worth a try to try a jungle underneath here. It's not gonna 
be too big of an issue if we have to replace it. I was just thinking, I don't want everything underneath here to be spruce. I want it to be some differentiation, and I feel like if we have a spruce floor and a spruce ceiling and spruce walls, it's going to be a little bit tiresome, and it's not going to look as good. So I'm just going to, yeah, just try this and see what, see what happens. I think the flooring in general should be jungle wood, actually. Um, it's a nice differentiation, yeah. and it's kind of stylish almost. So, yeah. That's, yeah, I think that would I be like good. it. What do you think of the front of this house right here with the window? I'm trying to figure out how to make it have enough window, but also give enough privacy. Do you think this is a good compromise? Again, I'm thinking about this. What if we add one here? No, that doesn't work. No, that doesn't work. I'm this trying to get to used to all these new blocks. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. There's a lot of uh, stuff that did exist in the game before, but you weren't able to get it in the creative menu, like this. Um, smooth stone, for example. You can now get this in the creative menu, whereas before you'd have to uh, modify the slabs with world edit. Here's a good trick I've learned. Uh, you do colored glass, and then it looks better on a build. So if you don't want it to look boarded up, we can use um, glass panes. But then it... Oh, wait, what? Debug stick. Perfect. Yes. yes. That looks good. It's beautiful! Now we just need to do it for Wait. the rest of the house, and then we're pretty much done the exterior. One, 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 one second. I want to try this. It, yeah. It doesn't work. So we're going with the um, uh, the spruce logs for the roof then, instead of the spruce regular spruce. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that then. While you mess around with the uh, floor. So this piece, actually, Harrison, I'm going to make it a separate roof and it's going to be uh, steep. So it's going to kind of, because right now we have all just one big, huge roof. It doesn't look that good from the sky. So I thought I'd make this one a separate roof, sort of as like a little outcropping, a separate building almost entirely. Except of course it's almost fully attached, so I guess not. Harrison, that is a lot of fire. Okay, now it just looks like it's burning. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna replace these. Oop, that wasn't a good idea. Just all the way up here, make it look a little more sturdy. I'm kind of torn on whether or not to have thin pillars. Because the thin pillars look really good from below, but when you look at them in the context of the entire house, they look too thin. They look like they don't, they wouldn't be able to support the weight of the house. Kinda yeah, torn. you're right. Use the dark oak door. I think it'll fit this mansion pretty well. The only issue is... I made it weird. I gave it a three-block center, so it's... I, we can't do double doors, which is unfortunate. So this is kind of the way I want the back. Um, being two separate roofs. I'm thinking we just do a chimney right here. And, yeah, we'll move it out. I Start with Antisite. Antisite's a nice clean block to use for chimneys and stuff. It, it works as a nice base. And once we uh, shape it yeah. with this, then we can add different blocks and make it look cooler. And now that we have a rough shape and we can add detail and give it some extra blocks. So like stone bricks and, uh, well... And then stone, really, Ooh, that's not... Oh, that's a ghost block. So near the base, I'm going to add some cobblestone. And then further on up, we're going to add some stone brick. Just to give it, make it look a little bit better. Yeah, if we use the debug stick and make it like that, I think that looks perfect. Now we just have to be careful not to update the block so it doesn't revert back to its original position. And now that we have our smokestack complete and all detailed with uh, cracked stone brick and stone brick stairs... Um, all we have left to do for the exterior is really add some windows and some, um, extra natural detail, and then we're done. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with this. This looks good. Yeah. Except for the giant, huge expanse of the roof, I'm super happy with this. But I have a solution for this roof. If we add a bunch of vines and green stuff coming off of it, I feel like that'll make it look a lot more manageable to the eye. It'll be less of a giant hockey rink uh -huh. and more of a trail. If... Yeah, that's a really far um, reference, but I think it works. See what you mean. Let's punch through some windows. Meh! <laughs> not like that, not like that. We have to have some restraint, come on. Harrison, no, we just finished. What did we learn about last time? Jeez. <laughs> we talk about a slow death. This is going to take a while. Finish this in uh, calendar years. Anyways, we've finished before the lava gets here. We finished the entire house, the exterior, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I've added all the windows, used the debug stick to connect them to the stairs, and yeah, and I've added some 
foliage to the roof to make it a little less barren. What are you doing with that axe? This isn't good. No! <laughs> it's SpongeBob! <laughs> oh my god. Insert maniacal laugh here. That's perfect. <laughs>